Hello, my name is David O'Brien. I'm a cookery tutor with Dublin Dunleary Education and Training Board. Today we're going to make a pork roulade, which is literally just a pork steak stuffed with a potato stuffing. So for the pork roulade, you need one pork fillet or pork steak. Um, I have some leftover mashed potato, so that's about three or four potatoes mashed, and some diced onion, and about 50 grams of bacon lardons, um, which I like those in the shop. If you don't have those, you can just um, dice up two rashers, very small, and then some mixed herbs. So to start off, we have to get the meat ready. So we need to trim it up and take off the membrane. So the membrane is the white is the white piece, white thing there on top of the meat. So we remove this by sticking the knife in and at an angle just kind of cut it off like that. Trying not to remove too much of the flesh. The same again. So we remove the membrane because it, um, when cooking, it makes the meat tight and so it stops it being tender. So sometimes you can just pull off. Do that side again. So you don't have to get all of it off, but most of it off is great. So you need a good sharp knife for this. So it's all a little bit in here. So, something you can just scrape off. Now, so next you cut the pork fillet down the middle but not all the way through. So again you need a sharp knife. So you just open up like that. Okay, so lay it out like that, and then we're just going to score it a little bit. Okay, so now we need to bat it out. So I'm going to use some cling film. So, let's lift it off for a second. So put down a layer of cling film there. Okay. And then you need to cover it again. So this is to protect the meat when we're batting it out. Because if you didn't put cling film on it or to protect it, it would all stick in your hammer. So I have a meat hammer here. If you didn't have a meat hammer, you could use a rolling pin. So, this one gets a bit noisy. So you just flat it out. So we're going to make a kind of rectangle shape. Now, so that it's, that's it batted out. So that's for the bin. So we're going to fry these off. So we're going to fry off the onions and the bacon. So a little bit of oil. So for the onions and the bacon bits.
and they are going to take about five minutes to You fry up your bacon and onions till they're softened down. And from there. And then you let them cool then for a while. And then we add them to our bowl of mashed potatoes when they're cooled. So, to your mashed potato and bacon and onions, I'm just going to add a little bit of mixed herbs, some salt and pepper, and then just mix it around. And this just kind of makes a potato stuffing. You could also use this to stuff some chicken breast, or if you wanted, if you didn't like pork, you could possibly do this, a smaller version of this with turkey steaks and the same kind of stuffing. Okay, so that's your potato stuffing there. So now I'm going to turn over the pork that we stuffed. Like that. And there we have our pork there. So then just spread out the potato across the pork. And then just kind of evenly spread it out. Okay, all the way out to the edges. So, using your cling film. You're going to roll it like you would kind of a Swiss roll. So you're going to push in the meat with your fingers and using using the cling film, pull it, pull it towards you and you're rolling and pushing it in at the same time. Rolling, rolling, so you get nice and firm like that. So that's it stuffed. Like that. Okay, and just kind of stretch it out a bit. So now we're going to cut it into kind of little steaks. So you need a sharp, very sharp knife again for this. So there you see you have your stuffing going all the way through. So you get cocktail sticks, and where is the last piece of meat? You make sure you put your cocktail stick right through like that. So you can cut them about an inch thick, two centimeters roughly, and you get loads out of just one fillet. So now you just continue putting the sticks in to where you Some of them might need two. Okay, and just don't forget to take out the sticks when they're cooked. So now, next then we are going to pan fry, pan fry the pork steaks in a little bit of oil. So I can bring over to the cooker. So again, a little bit of oil the pan and I'm just going to dip them in flour to stop them kind of sticking. So tap them gently in flour like that, pan with some oil and you're just literally going to brown them on each side.
I'm just gonna add a little bit of butter as well. It, uh, it helps bring a bit of color and adds nice flavor. So you fry them for about four or five minutes on each side. And then after about four or five minutes, you just turn them over and let them brown on the other side. So when the pork steaks are fried on both sides, you put them on a tray. And then we're going to put them in the oven then for about 15 minutes at 180-190. So after about 15 minutes in the oven, the pork is ready. So, I just had a little bit of carrot and parsley puree here in the middle, which I just just to show you a serving suggestion. So make sure you remove the pork, the cocktail sticks for your serve. So two proportions should be loads. So there we have it. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of apple sauce and a sprig of rosemary and then some gravy. There you go, stuffed pork steak with carrot and parsley puree and some gravy. Enjoy!